Understanding the phrase, laid out in lavender. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we make learning English fun and easy. Today, we're diving into an intriguing English phrase that you might come across in books, movies, or even conversations, laid out in lavender. Stick with us to uncover the meaning behind this colorful expression and how you can use it in your daily English conversations. The phrase, laid out in lavender, has its roots in a long-standing tradition. Lavender, a plant known for its pleasant fragrance and beautiful purple flowers, has been used for centuries in various cultures for its calming and antiseptic properties. Historically, People would lay out clothes and linens in lavender or use lavender sachets to scent and preserve them. This process was not only practical for keeping items fresh but also imbued them with a delightful fragrance. In modern usage, the phrase, laid out in lavender, can have a couple of different meanings, depending on the context. One common interpretation is to deal with someone sternly or to reprimand them sharply. It's akin to saying someone has been put in their place or set straight in no uncertain terms. Another, less common usage harks back more directly to the phrase's origins, implying something or someone has been prepared with great care or made very tidy. This usage is rarer and tends to appear more in literature than in everyday conversation. Let's see how, laid out in lavender, can be used in sentences to get a better grasp of its application. Reprimanding. After coming home past midnight for the third time, Jason was laid out in lavender by his parents, making it clear that it wouldn't be tolerated again. Making tidy. The guest room was laid out in lavender for the visiting relatives, with every detail polished to perfection. Understanding the context is key to interpreting the phrase correctly when you encounter it. We hope this exploration of laid out in lavender adds a new and interesting phrase to your English vocabulary. Remember, language is not just about words but also the stories and traditions they carry with them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more English language insights. Happy learning, and see you in the next video.